I always believe that putting together things that doesn't probably look like fitting logically, it's a very interesting exercise in life. What is real and what are the facts? What is imagined and what is the space we should have to imagine things? I want to put this in the same room. This part of the exhibition comes from a square of Runic, which is this little town that was not used, was abandoned and was seen as a public space. In all the 90s, you were censored to protest, to manifest any cultural event and to be together as a community. This was because of a conflict between Serbia and the fall of Yugoslavia and the dictatorship in 80s and 90s. Then the war happened. And the effect of this long time prohibition and denial of identities, it brought up to a square that is full of trash and a ruin. And what I was trying to do is like to try to awake a ruin that for more than 40 years was asleep. And what happened was really kind of magical. What I tried to bring it here was this almost a dream that is in suspense. Actually, that's how I imagined the whole experience of the exhibition, that the visitor become the actor of this play and is the center of everything. I just thought the start should be from a dream of under earth and kind of an imagined landscape that you kind of navigate through with a lot of creatures and unexpected relationships. And then you come here in a more dreamlike space. So these birds, these creatures are allowing us to connect these things and bring back some hopeful stories and like how those pieces of building that can be a roof or a brick from the wall. I think they listen so many theater plays and so many dreams and so many stories. I believe they contain still that. They deserve this new life and new lightness of it and also to meet people who don't know anything about all of this. So when you come here, you just build your own beautiful or light or dark, colorful or monochrome story that is just part of you, it's not mine anymore. This calls also from my experience on how important it is to build a society that there is a coexistence of people who in the beginning doesn't seem fitting, but actually that's such a rich reality to live through. And I don't understand how so many societies actually aim for building a very monochrome reality. In a way, I think of these things sculpturally as a way of energies or materials diffusing and colors as a mix making the third color. You give a sense to them in a way and you build new stories and you build more inclusive stories. That's what I call dream and that's why I believe in.